Hi Diamond Painting friends, it's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today I have two unboxings from Dreamer Designs. I bought these a little bit ago, but I haven't had time to actually unbox them on my channel yet, so I thought I have some free time today and hardly anybody's home, although I'm in my bedroom, so it doesn't matter too much. But So I got two, I got one smaller one, and these are um, both Jody Bergsma paintings. This one, so the diamond painting actually is this way and the sticker's on the bottom, but I open mine up from the bottom because I like to store them with the sticker up like that or like this. And I like to keep the plastic on, this plastic here to kind of protect the box a little bit. So that way it's not open on both sides. But this one is this cute little starlight, star bright. It's a 40 by 60 centimeters, 15.7 by 23.6 inches. And isn't that just the cutest thing? Some little otters and then the lighthouse. And I love the lighthouses. So let me just go ahead and open this. So after do, for you those content creators, after you open, or I guess non-content creators as well, do you uh, look at your, Open up your boxes when you get them. And if you do, do you keep the toolkit in the box or do you take it out? Because I take it out. So all my, and I don't have any plans to sell any of my diamond paintings. I may give one or two away, but uh, I don't have any intentions of selling them. So every diamond painting I have, I can't wait to actually diamond paint. <laughs> so anyway, so do you keep the toolkits? Do you put it all back in the box or do you just... I take everything out. I have all my wax in one area, all my pens ready to give away or donate or something in another, things like that. So they always have it nice and pretty with a little bow here. And do you put the bow back on when you put it back in the box? Okay, so let's get that out. And then we're going to, how cute this one is. One of these days I will be able to say, oh, we could work up this one fast. <laughs> As of today, even these little ones, I cannot say that. Okay. So we have the sticker sheet. We have the little instruction booklet there. We have the drills. I'm just going to move all that over to the side. Look at this. I know for many people, this is a snack size. And some people probably could finish this one in a couple days. But and this will probably take me like two weeks to do but it's 45 colors and it has one two ab's and a special drill and here is the handy dandy toolkit and they actually have a really nice toolkit the tray is bigger especially if this is like your first time diamond painting and you don't get one of those small trays that most kits come with So you have your bags. You can kit up in these or kit down or just with your, if you save your drills, you'd put that in there. I'm going to give those to my son. You get these tweezers. Looks like the, this came off. So we always want to put those back on because these are pretty sharp, nice tweezers. And you get two pens. This one is good for your ABs and this one because this one has that plastic tip at the end so it doesn't scratch your ABs and this is your regular and then you have some multi-placers and a straightener that you could put on your pen like that and then you have these two things of wax so with this you want to peel back the plastic before you just put your multi-placer and pen in there. And you have some comfort grips, which I can never get on. And it takes, it's a little struggle, but eventually if you keep trying, they, they get, you'll be able to get it on there. And see, this is a nice tray. The size is great. And then you have a divider, which I don't use the divider. So let's put all of that aside over here. And here's the sticker sheet. So there's the image, the two otters. And... Is that a, fl a flower? I think a, fl 
sunflower or starfish in their hand. But that's so pretty. Look at all those nice pretty blues. And that's so gorgeous. It's so cute. I love the size. Okay, so here are the drills. Starlight, star bright. So if you separate this from your canvas, you will still be able to match it up. And it has paint with passion at the bottom. And you have your two legends, which is nice. And all the information up in that corner over there. Okay, so let me go ahead and open these. So I'm going to pause you for a bit. Okay, so I just went ahead and took all the drills out. We'll just take a, a look at all the colors really quickly and then maybe we'll come we'll pass by we'll get those find those special that one special drill and the ab's because i was having trouble finding it so let me take my glasses off and we'll just kind of go quickly who wants to take a whole lot of time so i guess here's the back so here's the drills okay i'm just showing you the drills really quick they look really nice Pretty colors there. I love all these shades of blue. You got your like gray. Oh, that one's a pretty one. Well, I like browns. I like, I guess, because I like. Some of them look like dark chocolate, some of them look like coffee, and some of them look like um, milk chocolate. <laughs> That's why I like the browns. So many shades of blue. I like that color. Got a little straggler in there. Oh, look at is that. First, I thought that was like a shade of green. These are pretty. I love all this blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. I hmm, wonder where those um, ABs are. Maybe they're in this, this strand. A little tiny bit of like a peachy color. Wow, look at that one's tiny bit too. And that one's just a little bit as well. Okay, so here, ooh, look at that. Here's that special drill. It's like a, it's a crystal. And then we have just a tiny bit of that AB and a little bit of that one. And then we have these two colors here. Okay, so let's move all this over. So let me get my glasses on so I could see the symbols on the canvas. So this crystal, which is really pretty, um, is all right here. Can you see? Yeah, right here. And the little whiskers. There's some in this up here. And there's a little bit over there as well. And some in the starfish or plant thingy. And then we have number 44 is kind of a circle with part of it being shaded. Let's see. That's going to be a hard one to find because there's not that many. And the last one, and the other one's like an hourglass. So this one is the one that is like a circle with a, with a moon in there. And this one's the tilted hourglass. So let's see if we can find this one. I still have the other painting. I forgot. I was taking my time with this one. <laughs> Let's see. That hourglass one. There's like not, there's not too many. So I don't know where these two. And there's that glare right there. I would think that would be maybe on the otter. Let's see. Hmm. I'm not seeing them. But we need to get to our next canvas. So, yeah, I'll have to, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not seeing them. There's not that many, so. 
It's like a darker blue. Let me see. Let's look at that otter really quick. So we're looking for the tilted hourglass and then like a circle with a part of it black. Maybe it's up in the lighthouse or on this little otter. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Okay, well, sorry, y'all. I don't know where those are. But let's get to the next one. Okay, so I, I'm gonna put all that over there and move the sticker sheet. And the next one I have is a little bit bigger. This one is super pretty. So this one is 60 by 80 centimeters, 23.6 by 31.5 inches, and it's called nothing. It's called nothing happens unless. I can't wait to see this one. Okay, let me just open this up. Maybe I should have started with the big one. Hopefully it's easier to find any ABs and stuff in this one. Okay, again, it comes in this pretty bag. Oops, and then the toolkit's the same, so I'm not going to open that up. There goes the drills. Look at this colored palette. Isn't that pretty? I don't think I'm going to take them all out because I already got to put that one back in and then... I just did another three more designs unboxing from my from what somebody was selling and I still gotta put that away. Okay, so let's see. We can roll this back just a little bit and then sometimes I have trouble rolling these back. I'm not the the best canvas rolly backer. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do some of this off camera. Let's go like that. Okay. So here's the sticker. This one has fifty eight colors. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm having a hard time seeing because I have my glasses on. I can't see up close. So this one has one, two, three, four ABs. Careful with the sticker sheet there. How pretty is that? You see all that? Let me put that up just a tad bit. Isn't it gorgeous? And then we'll look at the sticker sheet again. Oops. That was not a good move. Let me just put my phone back like that. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here's the sticker sheet. Isn't that so pretty? I didn't even notice that there's like these... Not that they're tattoos, but... Something on there. Okay, I'm still kind of crooked. Let's see if I could get this back to normal without... Okay. So pretty. There were a few other ones like this that I had seen on um, Oraloa I wanted to get, but I wasn't able to get those. And I believe Jody Bergsma is going to be retiring, so I don't know how much longer her paintings will be available from the different companies but so let's see so on this one we have some ab's over here we have like this greenish like minty color we have an orange a white and a purple so it's a b a box that's open uh o and a q so let's see if we could find some of these 
So the bee, there's some right here in this grass down here and some along here. And so if it's on this, it's probably on that side as well. I wonder if they're where we can see them. There's a there's the purple AB right here. You see that one right here? And there's a better. There's the white. And I don't know what that other one is. It's like a really oh, is that it? I think this one's it right here. It's a pretty mint color. Okay, so we found that one. That was B. So now we need the orange. I'm thinking maybe that's up here somewhere. Oh, it's right here in this eye. I think that's the only place. It must be a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. Here's, see a little bit there is right here. Let's see if we can. So I think that's just in his eye because that's the AB for that. And then we have a Q for purple. What shade was that purple? So purple is this shade right here. So we have Q and the O, which is white. I think, believe it's like 5200 AB is like right here. And there's some more O up here. And right here, and there's some on this moon. There's actually a lot in that moon. And now we are looking for Q. Oh, Q is like right here in this area, down right here. It's in our hair. And then there's also some like on his little beak thing right here, and some in his feather, hair, whatever it is. And then there's also some over here on his wings right here. And then there's some like on his... I don't know if these are like feather, feathery things or his fur, but there's some like down here as well. And then down here is also some more um, 5200 AB. Oh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't done a Jody Bergsma yet. So I think I want to do one this year. I would like to do one that I have from Bella Safina, but I like the size of this one since I'm doing so many large canvases. So I'm not sure, but I'm going to try my best to fit in a Jody Bargsma. I have some of our canvases from Craftably. I have some from Dreamer Designs, some from Oralova. So, and then some from Bella Safina. So I would like to get one of those kits done with a Jody Bergsma. Do you have any Jody Bergsma paintings in your stash? Let me know in the comments. So that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, always forget to ask for like a thumbs up or subscribe and all that. So please do if you, you like unboxings. I try to get a whip and chat out once in a while. I just mostly post when I can. I don't have like a set schedule. I know that's probably better to have a schedule, but I don't. So yeah, so if you're here to the end, thank you. I really appreciate it. And why don't we put a... Uh, Either like a fairy. I don't know if she is a fairy. Is she a fairy? Let's see. I don't see any wings on her. Oh, I do. Look at that. She has some pretty wings. Oh, wow. Look at look what he has on his. He has like these pointy things. So either put a fairy or a dragon. Whichever you can find. So thank you again. I will see you in my next video. Bye.